Good morning, South Florida. I'm CBS4 meteorologist Esther Gonzalez with your tropics update, and we are watching two areas: the remnants of what once was Harvey in the southwestern Gulf of Mexico. Right now, this area of showers, thunderstorms has become better organized, strengthening, and in fact, the Hurricane Center says it has a 100% chance of redeveloping either back into a depression, a tropical storm, possibly even a hurricane as it moves west northwest towards the Gulf Coast. Right now, it's likely that we'll see landfall of some system whether it's just a tropical wave or right now models are pointing that it could again strengthen as we get into uh, Friday and we're gonna see the impacts not only through Texas but also into Louisiana with devastating flooding possible there for us we have this area of low pressure that we've been tracking all week long it's draped across Florida through the Bahamas and into the western Atlantic and this disorganized area of showers and thunderstorms has a low potential of development over the next five days a 30 percent chance really as we take a look at this system it is going to bring us some heavy rain and flooding even through the rest of the week so here's a look at the computer models for the remnants of Harvey which is forecast again to strengthen as it moves generally towards the west and northwest right now we'll be bringing torrential rain hurricane force winds possible along the Texas Louisiana coast but right now we're seeing a potential landfall around Corpus Christi Houston as we get into late Friday and through the weekend it just lingers there so here's the deal for us we have plenty of moisture associated with not only the remnants of Harvey and whatever Harvey becomes headed towards Texas and Louisiana but then stretching across the Gulf and across the state of Florida plenty of moisture as well associated with that area of low pressure that's just going to linger so that means st stormy tropical downpours will be possible for much of the state of Florida and here in South Florida again we could see some flooding through Friday make sure to stay tuned to CBS4 and right here at CBSMiami.com we'll have your latest updates